Today we're going to review the Reading Eggs online reading program and decide if this is a good reading program for kids or if there's something about it that's not quite right that parents need to know about. We'll talk about that later on in the video. But first, let's just take a look at what the Reading Eggs program is all about. So let's get started and check it out. Reading Eggs is an online reading program for kids ages 2 to 13 and is available on desktop and mobile devices. They have four different reading levels, from the most basic ready-to-read skills for toddlers to more advanced literacy skills for older children. They offer a 30-day free trial, so you can really test it all out before paying anything. After that, the program is just $9.99 a month for up to four children. You can also save by purchasing the yearly option for $69.99, which comes out to $5.83 a month. If you want to add their Math Seeds program for kids ages 3 to 9, the price is $13.99 a month or $99.99 a year if you choose the annual subscription. They also have the option to purchase just the math program if that's something you're interested in. They include free printable worksheets for offline work and a placement test to make sure your child is working at the right level. They also offer their own workbooks to sort of round out the curriculum that you can purchase for an additional fee. I'm going to show you both the reading and the math programs, but let's start with reading. Once you sign up, the first thing that you can do is have your child take the placement test to make sure that they're working at the right level. If you prefer to skip that, you can also just choose the level yourself. There are four different programs based on age and reading level. Reading Eggs Junior is for kids ages 2 to 4 and includes fun games and activities to build alphabet knowledge and ready-to-read skills. Reading Eggs is for kids ages 2 to 7 and is designed to teach sight words, phonics, and early reading skills. Fast Phonics is for kids ages 5 to 10 and covers phonics skills like letter sounds and spelling. Finally, Reading Express is for kids ages 7 to 13 and helps older kids continue to build important literacy skills. Let's take a look at each of the programs. We'll start with Reading Eggs Junior. I'll show you later on how you can switch between the different levels and change the level for each child. But here is the main screen your child will see when they log on for Reading Eggs Junior. They can click on Explore the Land or choose from books, videos, or activities. In Explore Lands, they can just choose whatever interests them. If they click on the Reading Eggs guy, they will go to this house where different things happen when they click on them. Here is a matching game. Here is a counting game. So that's the kind of things they have here. If they click here, they will be taken to the Zoo Babies area, where they can watch videos about zoo animals. Down here is a book in Spanish. And there are a few more things like that here for them to check out. If we go back to the main screen and click books, this is where you can get to all the different books they have for the Reading Eggs Junior level. They even include books in Spanish and Chinese. Back to the main screen, if we click on videos, you can see all the videos they have for this level. There are popular children's songs, videos about animals, nursery rhymes, songs about letters, and a lot more. Lastly, if you click on activities, you can see all the different activities sorted by type of activity. Let's try a letter puzzle. Make the letter. Amazing! You made the letter A. A makes the sound A. Ah. So that's what Reading Eggs Junior looks like. Now let's look at the next level, the Reading Eggs level. The main dashboard will look like this. There are a bunch of things to do here, but we'll just start by looking at the lessons. This will bring you to a learning path, which is similar to the ABC Mouse learning path. There are all sorts of different activities here as you move along the path, including videos, short books, and games. My almost four-year-old daughter was watching me test it out, and she liked it so much she wanted to keep doing it herself and I noticed she was catching on fast. Let's take a look at a couple of the lessons here. I am Sam. Did you know there are two words which only have one letter? I and A. Click on A. A. Click on I. I. Click on A. 
A. Click on I. I. Great. Let's read a book. Read aloud with me. I am a cat. Click on I. That's right. Click on M. That's right. Click on A. That's right. Click on cat. That's right. I am a cat. So hopefully that gave you an idea what the lessons are like for this level. In addition to the learning path, there are a bunch more things your child can explore here. There's a house they can decorate, a place to view any awards they earned, games, and puzzles. The plaza takes them to a place where they can buy furniture and make changes to their avatar. They do this with the eggs they earn from completing lessons. You can see how many eggs you have up here. There's also a critter section, a playroom with various different activities, and a music cafe where they can play songs. If they click on reading journal, they will see the books they have read so far, and they can also access the library from here, where there are thousands of books to choose from. You can see there's even more to do that we haven't unlocked yet, but hopefully you get the idea of what this level is all about. The next level is Fast Phonics. This is a separate program for kids ages 5 to 10 that helps them develop their phonics skills and become strong readers. It's great for kids who are just learning to read as well as struggling readers. Your child will progress through a learning path, watching letter sound videos and playing phonics games. There are also hundreds of different printable worksheets for offline work. Let's take a look at one of the activities. Flying fur balls. Fill the bucket and make them fly. Find the fur ball that says T. A. S. T. A. H. T. A. S. A. T. before we look at the Math Seeds program, let's check out Reading Express. This is a program for kids ages 7 to 13. It's designed to improve spelling and reading comprehension and includes over 3,000 online books. The lessons cover a complete reading curriculum for grades 1 through 6. This program is a lot different than the programs for the younger kids, thankfully, and doesn't have the same cutesy videos and games. It's definitely a more mature program, which I think older kids will appreciate. The main dashboard looks like this, similar to the reading eggs level. They can click on my lessons to go to their learning path or choose one of the other options. English skills includes lessons in spelling and grammar that your child can access at any time. Stadium is a fun way to practice their skills and even compete against real world players. Although when I was testing it out, there were no real opponents available. So I'm not sure how many kids are using this feature. They can also access the library and their reading journal here. Down below are some fun ways to spend the eggs they earned, as well as their targets and trophies. Let's take a look at one of the lessons on the learning path now. Literal questions. Good readers are always thinking about the text as they read. Answering questions helps us to focus and build better understanding. The answers to some questions can be found right there in the text.
you don't have to look too far to find them. These types of questions usually begin with the words who, what, when, where, and how. Let's answer a question about the first part of a story. Sophie's shiny, new, super game was missing, and she was sad. It must be in the house somewhere, said her brother Frankie. How was Sophie feeling at the start of the story? She was scared. She was happy. She was angry. She was sad. Let's have a look at each of these answers. Look at the cover and answer the questions. Okay, now, before we take a look at the parent settings, let's just take a quick look at the Math Seeds program. To get access to this program, you have to pay a little extra. This program also follows a learning path and is very similar to the Reading Eggs program, only your kids will be doing math instead of reading and collecting seeds instead of eggs. My almost four-year-old was watching me test this out, too, and immediately climbed in my lap and started playing. Just like with the Reading Eggs, she caught on quickly. So it may be great for the younger kids. Let's just take a quick look at one of the lessons. Clownfish. Get the clownfish back to her family. This time your number is one. Click on one. 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 One, 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 one. Well done. Now that we've seen all of the different levels of the Reading Eggs program, let's see what you can do in the parent section. So you just log out of the student section and it brings you here. You can switch between different children here and click the plus to add up to four children. Click on the different reading levels below to view a progress report, access the printable worksheets, and visit the bookshop to purchase additional materials. For all levels except Reading Eggs Junior, you can also adjust their level or have them redo the placement test. If you click on Adjust Level, you can make some changes to the lessons they are currently working on such as if you want them to skip ahead or go back and get some more practice. If you click on Edit Details, you can adjust some of the details about each of your children, such as their year of birth and name. Bonus material includes certificates, activity sheets, and more that you can check out if you're interested. You can also view sample lessons and visit the bookshop here. Under My Account is where you can manage your subscription. It's also where you can set the library controls which we'll get to in just a minute, I promise. Okay, so now that we've seen the whole Reading Eggs program, it's that part of the video where I tell you my personal opinion on the program, what I liked and what I didn't like, and whether or not I would recommend it. But before we get to that, I did promise that we were going to talk about something that may be concerning to parents. This has to do with the library of books that they have available. Like many online reading programs, they include thousands of books that your children can read as part of the program. And unlike when your child goes to a bookstore or the library to look at books, where you might have the chance to talk about their reading choices with them, it can be hard to know what kind of books they're reading on some of these online reading programs. And so as parents, we think that we can trust as this is just a learning to read program, the books chosen for the program should be appropriate for all kids but that may not be the case with reading eggs. Here's what I mean. And this isn't to say which books are right or wrong for children to have access to. But as a parent, you should be aware of what your kids are reading 
especially if they're likely to have questions about the material. So here's the library, and I've got it set to all ages. And if you just click on nonfiction, and I've chosen health and fitness here, just a few pages in, I found this book. I'm not saying there's anything at all wrong with a book like this, but I do know that a lot of parents might want to know that this book is available. I don't believe a child should just find a book to read and read it and then have no one to discuss it with. So for topics that some parents might consider sensitive, having a child just alone at a computer reading this without a parent or teacher to ask questions and discuss it with might be very confusing for a younger child. Here's another example. This book about women's rights talks about abortion and birth control, topics that you may not yet have discussed with your children when they come across this book. Luckily, they do have a feature where you can restrict access to certain books, but you have to know about them first. So if you go back to the parent section and click here on library controls, this is where you can search for and restrict certain books. So if we search for that book I just showed you, you can hide the book here. Just remember, the search only works by book title, not topic. So you have to know what book you're looking for to be able to hide it. Now I will say, I didn't find a whole lot of books with sensitive topics, just a few. But it's just something to be aware of. Not just with reading eggs, but any online program like this. Just because you're paying money for an online learning program for kids does not necessarily mean you're going to agree with the curriculum. My advice is just always be involved Always be aware of what your kids are doing online and be available to talk with them openly should they have any questions about anything they come across. I do know of one online reading and language arts program that does have a lot of parental controls about the books that are available. I'm going to be coming out with a full video review of that program soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, so now let me tell you what I think about the Reading Eggs program overall. I'll start with what I like. Well, for one, I think it's a very comprehensive and affordable program. If you have several kids of different reading levels, you really will get your money's worth with this program. I also like that it's fun for younger kids. My twins really enjoyed it, and I noticed they were definitely learning. I also like that the program for older kids includes the more advanced reading skills, such as reading comprehension, vocabulary, and grammar. For a homeschool parent, it can be hard to find a good online language arts program for older kids. So I like that it's more than just a learning to read program. And now for what I don't like as much. Well, first, I think that it's a little bit confusing the way they have it set up. It took me a lot longer than I would have liked to really understand the whole program so I can make this video for you. I also don't like how repetitive it can be at times. And as I said in another video, the songs and videos for the younger kids are a bit annoying to have to listen to. And as we just talked about, I don't like that they don't really have a good way for you as the parent to know what kinds of books are available. You need to know the book title to be able to restrict it, which isn't really the best way to do that. So it's just something I don't love about the program. But if you're looking for a comprehensive and affordable reading program for your kids, I do think Reading Eggs is a good program. It has a lot to offer and I do think it's a really good value for the money. Just be aware of what your kids are reading on it. And if you think they're going to be browsing through the books, just make sure you're having good discussions on any of the more sensitive topics. If you've tried Reading Eggs, I'd love to hear what you thought about it in the comments. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to find the answer for you. Thank you so much for watching.